okay so I wanted to do a, a quick video on these two holsters uh, they're from the same company and first of all we're gonna ensure that these guns are clear they are nothing in the magazine there's no magazine in this gun uh, so that one's empty let me take out the other one as well this one's clear that off on the side. So if you notice, <clears throat> not sure if you can see that. Let's see if we can zoom in. Innate tactical or Nate square. You see the exponent numeral there, right there. So um, these are two of their holsters they are, they are not the same as you can see let's focus this back okay come on focus okay so you have your professional and you have your original and the difference between the two is of course you got your polycarbonate shell here uh, which means that it's 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 not a one size fit all. Uh, pretty much, it only fits this particular gun. As well, um, with their professional series, they don't cover a huge amount of uh, of weapons. Um, they only do it for, I guess, popular weapons. Um, so, for instance, for my Bursa Thunder, there is no professional version. So I can only get the original, or they have an original tuck. And the difference between the tuck and this one is that the belt comes out, allowing you to tuck your shirt between the gun and the clip, this clip. Um, so this one I got for my uh, Beretta PX4 Storm. Um, they also make... Uh, this version and the original tuck uh, for that particular gun as well um, I wanted to try something different with with you know the first one I bought was this one and I tell you what I fell in love with this uh, with this holster specifically because of how it fit this gun um, I wasn't caring really so much about the uh, the elastic here and this is elastic um, this allows it to fit other guns besides the Bursa Thunder um, so uh, it'll fit I believe 8 to 10 different guns that's listed on the website um, but I actually fell asleep with this gun on my back on my side uh, when using this holster um, it is that comfortable um, it is very nice um, as you can see here you can't see any of the gun from this side which means that your body isn't going to feel any parts of the gun um, as well this is a barrier this is suede on this side I believe this is neoprene on this side um, and there are layers here um, so if you're sweating a lot using this maybe uh, when you're doing for instance yard work construction um, or even maybe uh, exercising um, you will uh, uh, you can be sure that this is going to be a decent barrier keeping that sweat and moisture from your gun um, this one is very nice um, it is very well made um, this polycarbonate shell is held in place by rivets um, this is also uh, made to order um, so I had to you know I ordered this and I had to wait a week before it actually reached me um, but I am very happy with the uh, the construction of this um, it's also made in a uh, made in America um, I think this company is based out of North Carolina um, and I'm not far from North Carolina, so I, it didn't take me that long to get the product. But <clears throat> one thing I don't like about this gun, uh, this 
this holster is the fact that you know I already have a wide gun my gun is wide and I'm not even factoring in the safeties here and the uh, the slide levers um, so everyone knows that a PX4 is actually a beefy ass gun no matter which size you get whether it's a subcompact the compact or the full size they're pretty much the same uh, of a similar size uh, through the, the width of the gun the girth of the gun so uh, <clears throat> I have that going against me but one difference I notice between this and this holster is the fact that it's much more difficult for me to get this between my body and my pants and I have for most of my pants that I use to carry I have at least an inch and a half between my waist um, my you know my my actual waistline and the waistline of my pants and I did that purposely so that I could always have enough room to carry a gun I'm, I'm dressing to carry a gun um, I'm not trying to fit this in some slim fit jeans I'm actually putting this between myself and a pair of, of pants that I bought purposely to carry with so when I put this in and then uh, I put this in my uh, I have to struggle to actually get this to fit sometimes this actually clips my uh, the material of the pants itself um, so so I am not happy with that so I'm thinking about ordering an original because it might be a better match it's just uh, I just don't like all that space there and the thing is this isn't exactly thick either so no matter what material they use it's just gonna be it's, it's gonna it's standing out too much um, I'm not I'm you know the, I have other holsters like my alien gear holsters they don't seem to be as I guess I guess uh, what do you call it a uh, thick this way as this one is um, and I'm looking you know I was looking at some some video reviews of this particular holster um, for a different gun but same holster and the reviewer had similar complaints um, another thing well one thing I like about this is the fact that I can adjust the cant this is adjustable I can use this with an allen key uh, adjust this with an allen key and adjust it to how I want and then uh, lock it in place um, this also has a retention um, some people like it some people don't um, a lot of people think that an inside waistband holster uh, doesn't need to have retainment um, and, and I can agree with that but uh, my main worry is kids you know I have kids crawling over me all the time and uh, the last thing I need is for my kid to kinda say oh what's this and pull it out so uh, this prevents them from doing that um, as you can see let me, let me take it out real quick we'll talk about how to take it out as well um, but anyways when you holster this gun you hear that click that thunk it's locked in place it will not come out the way you take it out is you twist clockwise and it pulls out as you train with it it's simple and it's a lot harder to do it with it outside your waistband I mean with it off of your hip than it is when it's on your hip so um, some people do it like this and try and twist it I do it like this because when I take it out I'm my thumbs already in place to where you know when I pull it out I'm I'm, I'm, I'm about ready to fire so uh, when I do that just twist like that and pull out it seems simple enough for me but that's another thing that people tend to hate with this uh this variant of the uh Nate tactical holsters um so this one I believe was like 
60 something dollars, 67, 69 dollars. This one was 39. Um, so I think I'm going to order another one, the one that's in the middle of these two. So it's it's just like this except it actually pulls out like that. Um, both of those, I mean, I would say that this one is comfortable, but it is not. But it's only because this gun is thick. If it was a different gun, if it was like a 1911, it would probably carry better because the 1911s are, they tend to be slim. This gun is not slim. So, uh, um, I don't know if this gun is going to wear comfortably with anything that I use. Uh, the other holster I have for this particular gun is Alien Gear. And, uh, it carries well enough. I won't be sleeping with it. In either case, with this particular gun, no matter what holster, it's thick enough to where I know it's hard to forget that it's there. This one, not so much. I mean, this one's thick. This is a double stack. This is a Bursa Thunder Plus. Uh, but it's still small enough to where I... It's easier for me not to notice that the gun is on me. Uh, but anyways, uh, that concludes the uh, review. I just wanted to kind of go over that real quick. I hadn't reviewed the, these holsters yet. Um, well, I reviewed this one, but I didn't review that one. Um, as well, maybe I'll get some footage of the, you know this holster on my hip with the gun. Um, I do have footage of me wearing this so that people can kind of see... Um, how it carries and, but again got to remember that it even though I might show this on my hip it's going to depend on your build on your um, um, your gun belt um, and the gun that's being carried okay, let's try this again so I want to circle around here and I'm trying to show how this PX4 Storm Compact is riding while on my hip inside of a Nate Square tactical holster. Uh, this is a professional holster as well. So I normally don't wear very dark shirt. Today I am. Um, the gun is actually hiding decently well for what it is. And I'm panning around because I'm using a one hand, you know, it's awkward to kind of try and videotape myself. So now we'll flip it up and you can see how it's riding. So again, this is a big gun. And Lastly, what I'd like to do is I'd like to show how this is unholstered. So we'll pull this down and show my stomach. And tuck that in. So the first thing I do is I, I jam my thumb behind it. And I believe that's what the instructions state. Jam it behind it, turn it clockwise, pull it out. So as simple as that. Okay, let's try again. There you go. And notice I'm not doing this fast, but it can be done fast. It just takes getting used to, as with anything. Now, again, uh, most people don't expect some type of retention mechanism inside of a, uh, I guess, on an in waistband uh, holster. Um, but, uh, you know, for people who worry about losing their gun, um, I'm pretty sure they're worried about it no matter, uh, how it's tucked, you know, if, if it's in waistband or outside, you know, for people with kids, this is probably going to be nice. So I always think kind of outside the box. Don't just think about yourself all the time. Think about how this might benefit others as well. Uh, that's my opinion, at least. So one more time. 
So we'll put the gun to the side for a second because I also want to share this. So when you take this off, it's fine, but it should stick. And, and part of the reasoning, I guess, why it's, I mean, it's standing out way beyond the backing. And the reason for that is because this is designed for the PX4. PX4. The PX4 is not a small gun. So I'm going to see if I can get this on one-handed. Huh. It went on better than it normally does. Usually it snags. But even so, I'm, I'm not sure if you can see that. It's actually snagged part of my pants and it's actually pulling it down. It's not the easiest thing in the world to work with. But it is what it is, I guess. You either like this one or you don't.